So the check mark transfers to Clark with aces up. Well, Ivy trying to swaggle foose this table. What a scoundrel. <laughs> That's your guy. My man. And Clark folds. This is why I'm with Phil Ivy. The bluff works for Phil Ivy. Wherever Phil Ivy goes, I will follow. He is the man. Vu bluffed into oblivion. Still not convinced he did the right thing, but for Phil Ivy, it's good to be Phil Ivy. The 2008 World Series of Poker, presented by Milwaukee's Best Light. Main event. Welcome back inside the Rio, where the room is abuzz with more than $9 million going to the winner. But one person who is notably quieter than usual, Havad Khan. He finished sixth in last year's main event, but first in self-congratulations. We never got used to hearing Havad scream, but at least we knew where he was in the room. And so far this year, he seems to be a little toned down. Indeed, it appears as if someone sedated him. Remember what they did to Jack Nicholson and one flew over the cuckoo's nest? As for the man who outlasted Havad and everyone else last year, Jerry Yang hooked up in a hand right now, but his stack looking a little short. And now he's been put to the ultimate decision. me. Oh, boy. This is a very, very tough lay down. God, I can't believe I'm laying this hand down. I can't believe it. Jerry doesn't look as tough without 40 or 50 million chips in front of him. Yang falls and loses a big pot. Uh, we still have a shot. We still have a chance to come back. <laughs> no need to be risky. So things not breaking Jerry's way so far today. A stark contrast to the dominating performance in 2007 we saw from the social worker turned main event champion. Actually, I'm still shocked. Yeah! Yeah! You know, sometimes I would look at my bracelet and I said, wow, this is really real. Yeah! It's a Jerry Yang tidal wave. You just got to seek shelter. Yeah! I have been studying my opponents very, very closely and like a hawk. I noticed that they were playing a little tight. Four million. Wow. Jerry is a betting machine. And say, you know what? I am going to be the aggressor. Raise. I'm all in. And Yang comes over the top. Wow. You know, I think I succeeded, and I was able to pick up some, some good hands, actually. The river card is a six. Yeah! Jerry Yang is the 2007 world champion. And I saw the six on the river. The first person that I, I saw was my brother-in-law, and I jumped in. That particular hug was for me. An American dream come true for Jerry Yang. Yes! The hug that I gave to my wife was really a hug for her, actually. You know, I just um, want to let her know that, hey, you know what? We made it. We made it. Yang says he'll play differently at the 08 main event than what we saw at this 07 final table. Then again, he's got a lot of people looking over his shoulder this year. What a nice man. Jerry Yang trying to go back-to-back -back with main event championships. Let's take a look on the E-Trade Financial Tournament ticker and see the elite group of men who have won two main events in a row. Johnny Moss, Doyle Brunson, Stu Unger, and Johnny Chan. 20 years ago, Chan beat Fields of 152 and 167. And the man who denied Johnny's three in a row and beat him heads up, Phil Helmuth, still absent from this year's tournament for the moment. I'm trying to hang around until Phil shows up. And just do what Phil does, fold every hand for hours on end. All right, action continues with Gil George from Dallas, makes his living in commercial real estate. Ace Jack, he raises to 225. Liddell now. Six deuce. Well, if you play six deuce, you might not make it till Phil gets here. Daniel Del Biagio from Ferndale owns a dairy there in California. Pocket Jacks. Well, it's always been a dream of mine to own a dairy. Mark Safe with Ace, Ace King. This pro won two bracelets in 2005. It's going to make a 900 to play. George folds. George did the smart thing. Liddell's going to call with six deuce. Liddell does not do the smart thing. Del Biagio with his jacks. Oh, the dairy guy's got to play. Makes the call. So three players to the flop. Flop is ace 6-10, safe with top pair. Liddell paired his six. He's first to act. Check, check. check. The pro's not going to check. 2,000. Safe bets, two-thirds the size of the pot. You know, I think Chuck's waiting for a bell to ring every time before he acts. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to call for 2,000. A pair of sixes. And with Jax, Del Biagio will stick around. Everybody with a pair, safe in command. 
turn card now. Is a deuce, and Liddell hits two pair and takes the lead. You know, so far, anytime Chuck checks his cards again, he's improved his hand. Ah, a tell on Liddell. He checks, Del Biagio checks. Safe now. Pair of aces, which are no good right now, but he bets 3,200. Yeah, but he's got to believe his aces are good. Liddell calls. Del Biagio folds his two jacks. Heads up now. Got anything, Chuck? He's got 6-2, and there's a 6-2 on the board, and right. Chuck knows that adds up to 16. <laughs> All right, now the river card. Liddell, way ahead. A 7. Liddell now earns the check mark with two pair. Oh. All in, I guess. All in. Safe will need about 5,000 to call. He's, he said he's all in? Yeah. He said he's all in, I guess. <laughs> I got something. You got something? I don't know. I don't know what. You might have something better, but. Do you want to know what I have? Oh, I think I got the pot too big here. I think I'll probably have to call you, Chuck. It's fine with me. If you beat two pair, you're all right. Really? Really. Would Chuck lie? No. Really, a two pair? Uh, yeah. Damn it, I believe you too. This is inappropriate talk, but what the heck? You wouldn't lie to me, right? I wouldn't lie to you. Oh. You know, you'd kick his. <laughs> 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 Only thing is, we we can't discuss our hands, guys. The tournament official gently warning Liddell to zip it up. What? You're like he asked, right? What? I mean, he asked, right? Uh, yeah, but you're not allowed to tell others what you have. Look, Mark, that's an honest face. All right, all right. I call Chuck. Call him. Mark calls. He's got two pair. He told him he had two pair. I said, you win. Liddell torments Mark safe right here. I won't lie to you, man. A tough hand for Mark safe. Wasn't quite sure how to handle the light heavyweight champion, but a nice, honest double up for Chuck Liddell, and it looks like Phil Helmuth will have his hands full whenever he gets here. Chuck Liddell, the Iceman, and a fight for uh, the UFC. Former light heavyweight champion. Yeah, I'm pretty low key, in. but I hit hard. And it looks like it's going to get a little hotter in here for the Iceman because Phil Helmuth has arrived in uniform, no less. Somebody pinch me, and I hope I wake up. I think we should salute him. Sir. You don't have to cheer for me. Cheer for the girls. Come on. Yeah. The Iceman. What's up, big man? How you doing? How you doing? I'm doing all right. You're a bad man. At least he's sane. And by the way, I'm thinking about going to Afghanistan uh, in December. Really? To visit the troops, yeah. Because I've never been in the military. I feel like I owe them something. You know, we all owe them something. Yeah, I feel like I feel like I owe them something, and if I can make one trip over there, you know, and and host some poker tournaments for them and give them some DVDs and books, just one trip, I feel like I'm I can make it even for life. You know, they would love that because the troops need to be supported. How is in a war zone? That'll bring the troops home. Phil, of course, won the main event back in 1989 with less than 200 entrants at that time. Now there are hundreds here just to watch the main event. And two of those fans are Phil Ivey's biggest supporters, Mel and Pat Humphreys, who've been following him for years with their homemade Ivey T-shirts all the way from Atlantic City. They're nice people, but...